So I try to tweet out for the first time and Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a tweed out for the first time and those are the products that I use to shampoo and condition with. Um, so now I'm just sectioning off my hair and I'm gonna apply this leave-in conditioner to each section. And I've actually been trying something new where I apply my leave-in before my styling products and leave it in my hair for about five to 10 minutes just to let it sink in before I start adding more products. So that's what I'm doing here. So after the leave-in's been in my hair for about five to 10 minutes in these twists, I'm undoing the twists and then I'm gonna start applying my styling products. So I'm just sectioning off my hair again, this time into smaller sections. I think I did about seven sections. And I'm gonna use this Aunt Jackie's butter. And I really like using butters for twist outs and braid outs. I just think that it's a good combination of moisture and seeding properties. And then for the definition and the hold, I'm gonna use this Aunt Jackie's gel. So as usual, when I do twist outs or braid outs, I'm combing through with my Denman brush, just to make sure that the hair is fully stretched out and there's no tangles at all. And then I'm gonna start off doing a braid. Um, I don't know why it took me so long to start this braid. You can see I'm kind of struggling. I'm not used to doing braid outs, I'm used to doing twist outs more often. So yeah, it took me a while to get started with the braids, but I'm braiding halfway down and then I'm going to start to twist. So now that I'm about halfway down the piece of hair, I'm splitting the middle section into two and adding each half of that section to the other sections either side so that then I've got two pieces of hair and then I start to twist. So I'm just going to show you again on this front piece of hair the process which starts with the butter and I just make sure that that's all fully distributed. And now I'm adding the gel. Brushing that through with my Denman brush. And then of course braiding the hair halfway down before I start twisting.
So I did do seven braids, or twades, should I say. Two at the bottom, and then three along the middle, and then two at the top of my head. And once they're dry, this is the next day, I'm adding some of my homemade oil, and I am undoing these twades. Just be careful, because it is a lot more difficult to undo the braided part, and you can cause frizz if you're not gentle and careful with it. So I wasn't overly impressed with this first section. I was a bit like, oh my God, this is gonna be a total fail. Um, but as I continued to undo these twades, um, the front pieces looked a lot more defined. As you can see here, this side piece looks really defined and the front piece looks even more defined. So I was very happy with the results as I continued to undo. Now obviously this mess needs separating, so that is what I'm doing here. And this is my hair after I've separated all of the pieces and I'm just using this pick just to get rid of the partings. And this is the final result. I was actually really, really pleased with how it came out. Um, I feel like I definitely need a haircut. I'm getting a bit of a mullet. I <laughs> am aware of that. But the actual curls look really, really good. I got a lot more stretch than I normally would from a twist out, but I think the look of the curls look better than with just a full on braid out. So I am loving this twayed out trend and I will be doing it again in the future. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in my next one.